Now the children have been ordered back to Zimbabwe. KRC on News Channel 7, Shay Arthur talked with some of the family to get the story. And Shay, this is a case of international versus federal law. That's right, Mike. An international law wins in this case. The kids live in weed with their mother right now. Dad is in Zimbabwe, where a Siskiyou County commissioner recently ruled they must go back to. We can't release their names for security reasons, but today I talked to the children's aunt and grandfather. They say this isn't a custody battle. This is a battle for human rights. It doesn't matter if the government's corrupt. It doesn't matter. This is a battle that you could be fighting. And also, our constitutional rights are no longer just your rights. We all just accept it's my right. But Aunt Sherry Marshall and Grandfather Keith Chilson say that's not the case for the Coral Kids. The 9, 11, and 13-year-olds will be sent back to Zimbabwe to live with their father before the month is over. I think it's, it's adding insult to injury. You know, you go to help someone, and then because you go to help these starving kids and um, orphans, you go to help, and then all of a sudden you find yourself um, no protection from your country. I don't understand. The youngsters are all U.S. citizens, but it doesn't matter in this case. According to the International Hague Treaty, what matters is where they have spent the majority of their lives, which in this case is Zimbabwe. This Hague Convention uh, affects anybody in an international marriage with children that have struggled. What we're trying to say is it needs to be established in a court of law that can see both sides of it. You know, if, if a court system says, you know, if there needs to be visitation there for a bit of time, that can be established. This is not trying to keep him from there. The family has reached out to more than 20 television radio stations, but they've only heard back from a few. They tell me now, more than ever, they're relying on their Facebook page to help bring more public awareness. It's, it's sketchy. It's unclear. It's left up to each judge to decide what they think it means. The family says the kids are looking forward to seeing their dad but they haven't been told when or if they'll return to the U.S. It's scary. The family worries about unsafe living conditions in Zimbabwe, but an attorney for Mr. Curl says the children have lived in Zimbabwe for 10 years and there's no threat. They want to see their dad, but the unknowns and they're not being told when you will get to see your mom again. It's just, it's scary for them. And the kids are set to touch down in Zimbabwe on April 20th. Now, if you would like to learn more about their story, we have a direct link to their Facebook page. It's called Help the Curls. That's on our website, krcrtv.com. Mike?